it's Shawnee and I have an awesome mental toughness tip for you today. It's based around the concept of what's in your control. You're probably not going to like it that much because almost everything that you think is in your control actually isn't. Allow me to explain. Have a look at this diagram and what you'll notice is there is lots that's out of your control. Look how big the yellow is. Look how small the blue is. Very little is actually within our control. Most athletes that I work with, they're actually confused about what's in their control and what's not. They're confused about what things they can change, what things they can't change. And you know what, I hate to disappoint you, but pretty much everything you think is in your control actually isn't really loud and clear. I put loud and clear in big letters for a reason. You can't control your mistakes. Darn it. You can't control the results. Double darn it. You can't control other people. Triple darn it. And you cannot control conditions. Well, let's start with mistakes and mistakes are out of your control. Believe it or not. So no matter what, no matter how hard you try, here are some mistakes you can't do anything about. Number one, missing a shot. I ask athletes that, is missing a shot in your control? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, really? So you're missing on purpose then. If this was in your control, you would never miss a shot. How about turning it over? I know that bothers players a lot. Now, well, it's out of your control. That's how you know. You'd never turn it over if it was in your control. Well, what about making a bad pass? Is that in your control? No, it isn't. You're not perfect. Mistakes are normal. Mistakes are common. Have you ever watched the best players in the world? The NBA, the WNBA, the Olympics, the Raptors? Have you ever seen those players make mistakes? Darn right. The best in the world make mistakes because mistakes are out of our control. Results are out of our control. And here's some examples of results that you cannot control no matter how hard you try. Winning, not in your control, it's a result. Therefore, losing is also out of your control. This is the one that people don't like very much. How many points you score? Well, that's out of your control. If it was in your control, that means on the jump ball, you could have already decided beforehand. You know what? Today, I feel like I'm going to score 30. Seriously, that isn't how it works. Well, other people are out of your control. And I'm going to give you some examples of things that you cannot control in other people, no matter how hard you try, no matter how badly you want to. Well, why is playing time out of your control? Because it depends on what your coach thinks. People have said, well, if I just became a better shooter, my coach would play me more. Well, how do you know? Maybe not. Maybe your coach really thinks defense is important. Referees are out of your control because why? Because of that. What they think decides whether or not they blow the whistle. They don't really care what you think. Your coach, your parents, your teammates, your fans, your opponents, what they say, what they do, what they think, what they think of you is out of your control. The fourth thing that's out of your control are the conditions. That means no matter how much you want to change it, no matter how hard you try, what are some things that you can't control in the game of basketball? Well, you can't control the temperature in the gym. You play in gyms in the summer that aren't air conditioned and it's super hot. There are other times you play in gyms in the winter and it's freezing cold. Too bad, so sad. There's nothing you can do about that. How about the lights? Oh, the gym is too dark. Oh, the gym is too bright, too bad, out of your control. Lots of players say, oh, I can't stand early games. Who cares? It's out of your control. What about something like locker rooms? 
Oh, the locker rooms are so far away from the gym. Out of your control. So where am I going with this? Stop the madness. What does that mean? Stop wasting your time on energy on things that you can't control. Look at the size of the yellow out of my control on this diagram that I've shared with you. Look at all of that. Stop spending all of your time in the yellow. Stop blaming others. Oh, my teammates never pass to me. Seriously, out of your control. I don't get enough playing time. Out of your control. Here's the other thing I want you to stop the madness. Stop beating yourself up for mistakes. I shot an air ball, I suck. Air balls are out of your control. Whether you like that or not, it's out of your control. Otherwise, you'd never ever shoot an air ball. Ah, oh, I turned it over again. I'm so lousy, I'm awful. Stop beating yourself up for things that you cannot control. Well, let's shift. So what's in your control? Well, unfortunately, this little blue circle, it didn't get any bigger since I showed it to you a couple slides ago. Well, what's in my control? Not very darn much. Two things, only two, yes, only two. Your thoughts are in your control and also your actions. That's it. Your thoughts and your actions are the only things that are in your control. Nothing else. You kind of might say, well, that's depressing. And I'm like, no, it isn't. It actually helps us shift from this ineffective, whining, complaining, upset, hanging my head. It actually can shift me into an athlete with great mental toughness. I'm gonna to show you how to do that on the next slide. You know, I don't expect you to like sitting on the bench, but it's out of your control. So what else can you do? Well, how about that? Why does that matter? Because it's a thought that you can choose. Remember I said thoughts are in your control. So you can sit there on the bench being a great teammate, or you can sit there hanging your head, being all mopey, feeling sorry for yourself. Why not choose the thing that's in your control that makes a positive difference? How about that one? What's in your control? Remember I said making shots is not, but taking high percentage shots is in your control. That means that's an action that you can do. Here's two together. I can think about being aggressive and then I can go crash the board. Well, those are thoughts that I can choose and actions that I can take. And when I focus on thoughts and actions that are in my control, think about how that changes my effectiveness as a player. I want you to remember that whatever is going on with you in basketball, I miss shots, I don't get playing time, I'm sitting on the bench, my teammates don't pass to me, the fans are talking smack, I'm like, you know what, whoopee do. Seriously, none of that's unique, none of that's special, but here's something that is unique and special. Every problem has a solution, and yet very few athletes spend time in the solution. They're really good at spending time in the problem. So what would be a solution? Here's an example. Remember we said mistakes are out of our control, so I can't control if I turn it over, but I can control what I think. I'm going to be aggressive, and I can control my actions I'm going to keep my eyes up. I'm going to look down the floor. I'm going to look for an open teammate. I'm going to pass to the outside hand. I'm going to turn my body away from the defender so they can't steal the ball. That's how you find a solution to your problem. Here's another example of a solution to a problem that athletes talk about a lot. You can't control how many points you score because that's a result. Results are out of your control. But you can choose what you think. You can decide to be shot ready. What a great thought. Hungry for the ball, shot ready. How about taking shots that are in your range? That's an action that's in your control. When athletes ask me, oh, what do I need to do to make more shots? What do we need to do to score more points? I'm like, you know what? Take better shots. It's not rocket science. Take better shots. 
take shots that are in your range, be on balance, have your feet ready, have your mind shot ready. All of those things are in your control. Here's a thought I want to leave you with. Stop spending all of your time on things that are out of your control. You're getting your knickers in the knot. You're getting your tail in a tizzy. You're all nervous. Hey, by the way, whenever you're nervous about something with basketball, I guarantee you, you're thinking about something that's out of your control. That's why you're nervous. Because intuitively, your body, your mind, your spirit, your heart knows that that thing that you're nervous about is out of your control. So switch it, flip it, and do this. Pick a thought, then pick an action that will make a difference and solve the problem. If you'd like to go into some detail about this, I'm running an awesome mental toughness camp. It's going to be done virtually. The dates are July 7th to 9th. You can find out everything that you need to know by going to my website and clicking on events. And in the meantime, practice your mental toughness. It's a difference maker.